Hello, my Tauruses. Getting ready to do your reading. Welcome to the suit of cups. Let's see what's showing up for you guys. I'm going to probably be changing my background, coming in here and doing some different things. I'm tired of looking at this purple. All right, so Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages from Taurus. Okay. Eight of coin is your overall energy. So you could be working, making money, focused on something. Knight of Swords, ooh, Knight of Swords and Ace of Cups coming in really fast. But, you know, this is the right kind of energy to be in. So whether you're focused on work or school or the gym or, you know, a hobby, this could show up very quickly. Could be at your work, could be anywhere. Let's see. We have the Devil and the Five of Wands, but this is the past energy, though you could still be in this. Might be dealing or fighting with a Capricorn, or you might be in a toxic relationship or just one that this is like, it's difficult. Let's just say that. Could be a karmic relationship with that showing up like that. Somebody else has the tower and the high priestess. So someone could be going through a tower moment. Someone could be moving. So this is someone who may be going through a really rough time. You may know that. Or they may be just going through, like they're learning something. There's a realization here with this person, an epiphany. That could be why this guy has his arm in the air. Because it's like, oh my gosh, you know, Taurus is the one for me. Or I really, you know, I'm in love with Taurus or something along that line. Yeah, Ace of Wands, Two of Swords. So it could be a very strong connection. I am getting kind of like a very sexual energy here now. So there's somebody who realizes like there is a deep love for you or deep connection or that they are falling in love or that they want to get to know you because they're very attracted to you, that type of energy. Because I'm seeing the tower and high priestess like, like, you know, like when you're, someone's sitting there and also like poof, like, like your head, you know, you're like, oh my gosh. Definitely could work with this person, could be around them a lot. There could be, um, it could be healthy competition though, also in a sense, you might play softball or... Uh, you know, be in a league of some sort. They might be around you, like when you do some type of hobby or sporting event or something like that. Also, with that showing up that way, I'm getting there's going to be very strong sexual chemistry between the two of you. Maybe you know, sexual chemistry, uh, tension, a lot of banter too. Also, it could be a lot of like jokes and. Um, but you guys are. It's like there's this slow simmering, you know, falling in love as you get to know each other. But it's definitely sexual in nature. It's it's okay. Let me see. Okay, so we have, re yeah, realization. I'm getting very strongly, this other person with this tower, this is like one of those light bulb moments in their head, like, oh my gosh. And this could be someone you're dating already. This could be, you know, somebody you've been around for a while. It's, it doesn't, you know, it could show up. Obviously for some of you, this is not somebody in your life right now. Okay, what is this, what is the advice or what is the message? So I like you. Yeah, you guys clearly have either a secret admirer, you have, um, Someone who's finally realizing, you know, love is blooming. Just like it says, romance is blooming. I'm flirting. Actually, it says fun flirting. I wish I could read. Fun flirting, want to date. Someone likes you. Yeah. Someone is waking up to the connection the two of you have. You may already feel it. You may not even know it, though. For some of you right now, it just, it just depends on who's viewing. This could be that flirty coworker that you're really interested in. Uh, something could be developing between the two of you. Okay, Eight of Coin. We're just going to see what this Eight of Coin might represent for some of you. Ace of Coin. Something new? Three of Swords? The Sun? Yeah. All right. So, again, you might be starting a new hobby with Eight of Coins. It could be a new job. You could be doing this because you are sad. You might be heartbroken or you just might be kind of bored through your Swords energy. But this is what's going to come out of it, the Sun. So, again, a new opportunity may have already shown up or is going to show up. An offer to even go do something is kind of what I'm picking up with the Ace of Coin. But you have a lot of Aces here already. What is the Ace of Cups? Hierophant. Wow. Yeah, see, there is secret love. See, this is where I see the Seven of Swords. A secret admirer, secret love. Someone someone checking you out as you walk away, Seven of Swords. Um, showing you two of their swords, but not all, not all of them. So there's like this flirty banter I'm getting between the two of you. But no, this is, now this could be yours. It is in your energy. So this could be how you're also feeling. You're like... Wow, I really like that guy or girl. But Page of Cups means that there will be some type of communication asking you out. What is this energy, though? This could be in the very far past. Four of Swords, Ten of Swords. Okay, this is healing. Okay. And yeah, this is this is healing from the past. Six of Cups is even under there. So this could be so many different things. I'm not really going to go into all this with that energy there. Could have, could have been a Capricorn. Doesn't need to be. But it just looks like bad energy that you've been healing over. We'll just leave it in the past because what's coming in is a new energy. Okay, let's go into this person. This person is the one who's like having a realization though. So you may be 10 steps ahead of them. You already know, like you like this person. All right, okay, hang on, let me do that again. 
what are they realizing? What are they realizing about Taurus? Okay, oh, moon energy. Nine of coin, four of wands, wanting to build, wanting to walk away, wanting to give. Six of swords. Okay, they're kind of all over, over the place, but that this is good energy. It kind of feels like they may have moved recently. Four of wands, eight of cups. Like it feels like they're single, okay? They're just realizing with the moon energy, <clears throat> some of their feelings are coming up about you. It's almost like they've already moved or started something with the Four of Wands and they already want to leave that because now all of a sudden there's this connection with you, the Seven of Cups. They want to know where it's going. Um, I feel like this person though, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> overall, they've left the past in the past. So whoever this is with the Eight of Cups and Tower um, energy, they are definitely, yeah, this person needs to speak up because because I got this energy up here of like, this is a divine connection. This is going to go somewhere. There's just, there's a lot of like emotion between the two of you or you're feeling it. They're just kind of down here, like taking their time. Yeah. Thank you. That's what they just said. Because it's like, okay, I'm doing my thing. Okay. I'm walking away. I'm, I'm wandering seven of cups. What do I do next? So you've been waiting for this person for a while. It's kind of like they don't get it. It's kind of like they finally get it. But that's what the whole reading feels like. This is like, what are you doing down here? What are you doing? Okay. So you see this realization with the Two of Swords and Ace of Wands, or they do. I always feel like whoever I'm reading for, like you guys probably are more enlightened, right? Because I feel like this person who you're dealing with probably is not um, watching, you know, tarot readings. They probably don't even know, you know, about YouTube tarot readings. They're probably somebody at your job and, you know what I mean? I mean, you could, that may be wrong, obviously, cross watchers, I'm sorry. But I'm just feeling like, you know, you're already ahead of this person. You can feel this connection and they're just like wandering around down here. Yeah, exactly. I love the King of Cups. Okay, so they're hiding it though. Don't hide it. Why? Okay. Since I took so many for the rest, I had to take at least three or four or five. Okay. King of Cups, I love this energy because it doesn't matter the sign. This person is falling in love, just like the whole reading is showing. This person is developing emotions for you. They're starting kind of slow, down deep, but they're brewing. And it's like all of a sudden, one day, that realization that they want to build um, a life, Ten of Cups, with you. But they're holding back, giving you maybe a little bit of a cold shoulder. Maybe they this might worry them or scare them that they're feeling this way about you. Okay, let's see if we can fi figure out what will draw them out. Let me pull one more card for advice. Okay, hammer. So it says sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, and working on it. Okay, so it's kind of like, kind of like having to wait a little bit. You know what I mean? Like kind of having to just like hammer away at something, you know, like you're building something, building something slowly. Okay, let's see if we can get some advice, maybe if you can make this move faster or where this is gonna go. And of course the roles could be switched. I don't say that because I know you guys watch so many readings and you guys know that this could be vice versa. Could be they already like you. You're just kind of taking your time. You're not too sure about what to do. Okay, where is this going for Taurus? Give us an idea of like where this is going. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> someone has a bad habit of holding back, but they need to do this instead. Yeah, someone has two options here. Um, this is the tower again underneath the deck. Someone is having an epiphany. They're realize, realizing this because this is like a bad habit. So this is maybe how somebody acted in the past. Because to me, the devil can be a lot of things. You know, it can be a bad habit, a bad way of acting. Um, it doesn't have to be like an addiction. It doesn't have to be like something hideous. But this could be like somebody who just doesn't share their emotions, doesn't show it. King of Swords cuts kind of is that energy also. So this could be you or them. But King of Swords, the energy is someone who does, isn't like really romantic, isn't really going to show anything, is going to be kind of stiff and forward. And, but the, what they need to do, though, is be this Page of Cups and give you an offer. Now they're going to, because it's here and here, they're going to. But it may not be like really, you know, sweet and happy and fun. It might be kind of like, you know, kind of like almost like you're not even sure if they're asking you out. It's kind of what I'm picking up. It's very stiff, rigid, but give them a chance because this is for some of you a relationship maybe of a lifetime with all the energy that came through. So it kind of feels like you've been, maybe you've been working on this for a while. Like you know who this is. You've been like waiting and building and building and waiting. And finally it's like, oh, you want to go out? And you're like, yes, finally. So I could see that energy coming through here. So they have emotions for you. So someone you may not realize at this point for some of you has emotion for you, but they're really, they're not showing it. But they're falling in love slowly is kind of what I'm getting. 
Now you may be dating this person. A lot of you are dating this person. You want to know how they feel. Yeah, this, yeah. You're already falling in love. Queen of Swords energy, temperance. Okay. Two of Swords. I'm sorry, Two of Wands. Yeah, because I'm getting, I'm not getting there's three people. I'm getting, this is probably both you or both them. This is hot and cold energy going from one extreme to the other. But there's love here. We see the Two of Cups. Now this could be you and them. This could be a same-sex relationship. But there's kind of like, you guys have your back to each other? I don't get it's this bad, though. This don't, They almost look like they're fighting, but it's definitely just kind of like balancing emotions. Somebody who needs to show both sides, who needs to show the love and, you know, they're not good with emotions is basically what I'm getting here. But this could work. This could definitely work. So don't rush. Don't worry too much. It's going in the direction you want with this person, all right? So I'm going to leave it here. Have a really good week, you guys, and I'll talk to you soon.